the Ghostbusters parked near me in the uh, preferred parking lot. It's funny though, they have a bumper sticker that says the closer you get, the slower I drive, um, which I think is contradictory when you have a very attention grabbing car such as that. I feel like people are just gonna get close to you no matter what. <laughs> What's going on guys? Officer O'Leary here. Since you no longer uh, take a tour through the safari on the safari off-road adventure ride here, you actually drive through it yourself like you used to back in the days. Pretty much gone back to what it had been. And uh, but they took one of the safari tour buses and they brought it out here right by the entrance. They have it all decorated up. It's pretty cool. There's this one guy hanging off the back. He's like, oh, help. This area by the fountain over here is called Scarecrow Street. Of course, you have your coffin-themed photo opportunity over there. outdoor mazes start once it gets dark out and it's uh, not totally dark out yet it's actually still pretty light and the uh, park actually closes at 9 p.m. tonight so the mazes are only gonna realistically be open for about an hour and a half or even less get back to the I think we might as well give this a go since we're over here walk on <laughs> get him boys <laughs> I'll take him to Lex Corpet. You deal with me. Follow me, Justice League B team, if you can keep him. Spot. 
240,000. That's the best score I've got on this in like years. Yeah, Justice League's, uh, they've updated a lot of the stuff in there. Like the screens are a lot brighter. The aiming seems better. Still not perfect by any means. It's definitely not a, a Disney quality or a Universal Studios a quality attraction by you know any shot of the imagination, but it's still fun. It's really good for a regional park like this, especially you know when they keep up with the effects and stuff. I noticed some of the stuff you know still wasn't working perfectly, of course, but you know what? Happy that it's actually better than it was before instead of getting worse like it's been. Nitro. Oh, the entrance to Dead Man's Party and the Awakening is right over here. It looks like they're gonna start that as soon as it gets dark out. It looks like the lighting package is messed up here at Wonder Woman again. This is Clown Town. Of course, we have the Dark Knight Deluxe Wild Mouse in a box coaster available over here to ride currently. And one of the things in the brochure that they give you at the entrance is they actually are doing the um, Sky Coaster, Sky Screamer experience where you ride a Sky Screamer. Uh, ah! <laughs> He's good. You ride the Sky Screamer laying facing the ground, sort of like Superman. <laughs> That was excellent. <laughs> oh, my flash isn't on. Yeah, it's good. I've, uh, I've heard they've amped up the amount of scare actors as well as um, <laughs> how good they're scaring people, which is really important. You know, for this type of event, you gotta be, you gotta be really good. We're gonna try and get through one of the weakest mazes here. It's called Reflections of the Dead. It's an indoor mirror maze. <laughs> Ah, oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, we did this one last year and they make you wear like gloves because <laughs> I guess people have to touch to feel where they're going inside the mirror. I mean, it makes sense, but it's funny. I thought it was just like COVID procedure. Oh, crap. We turned the lights off. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. This way? Whoa, nope, they can't go that way. Oh dear. Nope. Oh, jeez. Ah. Well, it's me. <laughs> it's not this way, right? Nope. It's not that way, is it? Yeah, no. Oh, it's not? Oh, this is cool. Look at this. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> okay, we gotta go this way. Uh, this is better than I remember. Okay. Nope. Wait. Uh, nope. It's not this way. Nope. That way. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I think we found the exit. I think it's over here. Is this the exit to the gift shop? Okay, great. Woo! Found it. <laughs> yeah, they have to do it in a gift shop. It's a typical Six Flags fashion. <laughs> we just did the mirror maze, Reflections of the Dead. That, that one was pretty good, actually. It actually scared me a couple of times. They had some actors in there. A lot more than I remembered back when I went through it a few years ago. It, was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it definitely wasn't last year. It was a couple of years ago that we went through that last. But yeah, yeah, it was way better than I can remember. 
and uh yeah so it um exceeded my expectations i give it probably like a nice three and a half out of five not great but it was uh pretty good you know most of it was just a typical mirror maze with some freight fest props thrown in here and there yeah cool we're gonna head around the corner here to aftermath and check that out now the security guard at the entrance to aftermath before said that the mazes should be open by about 7 20 and it's 7 20 right this minute so let's go Can't tell if Cyborg is on like fire or there's actual fog machines over here. It really wouldn't surprise me if Ride was on fire because that thing is a mechanical nightmare. I get stuck with people on it all the time. It's hilarious. But the entrance to Aftermath is right over here. I don't know how many people are waiting for it on the other side. Oh, it looks like they haven't even opened up the gate yet, but they should be opening it any second now. It's almost dusk. <laughs> oh, the gates for Aftermath just opened. Let's go. They're busier than I imagined in there, actually. There's a good two to three switchbacks full of people waiting inside Aftermath already. And, uh, of course, this is only, like, the third or fourth night of Freight Fest, I think. It started last weekend while I was in Ireland. But, yeah, this uh, this whole event, it, it looks like a little bit more of a premium experience than has been in recent years. Like, you know, the mazes actually seem like they're populated with actors and the people out on the paths are getting scared a lot more. It's really nice. I have a strategy though. I think what we're gonna do is avoid the lines over here because this is right by the main entrance. We're gonna go to the back corner of the park and do a uh, maze or two on the other side over by like, uh, I don't know, over by the lock flume there's a maze. Let's see if we can get in there. This is definitely gonna be one of the lighter crowd nights here at Fright Fest because it was actually raining a lot today. So it scared some people away. Uh, just some of the first people to go through the maze, I think. At the same time as Fright Fest is going on, they have an Oktoberfest event with a little beer garden. <laughs> it's really funny how the events are like uh, right next to each other like that. And they both run stuff at the same time. Like, you know, right now you go in there and get like a big thing to the Oktoberfest, like a thing of beer, you know, and then get the crap scared out of you 10 minutes later when you're pissed drunk. But we're going to head in over here to the Funnel Cake Factory and grab a nice ice cream cone on our way over to the back corner of the park. If you're coming out to the event, make sure you use your Diamond or Diamond Elite membership at the entrance to the Fright Fest mazes because it gets you in. You don't need to buy anything additional, you just need your uh, Diamond or Diamond Elite pass and then show them at the entrance to the maze and they'll let you right on through. Just the general line, you won't get anything express, you'll have to still wait in the line and everything, but you don't have to pay the additional $30 fee to just uh, go through the mazes for the night. I don't understand why they don't let you have your phone out on this ride of all things. It's such a strict rule. I've forgotten Carnival uh, Maze here. There's a bit of a line already as well. Can't believe how busy it is for, it was like pouring rain earlier before I came. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's gonna be a perfect night. Nobody will be here. And then, yeah, of course it's actually kind of busy. Surely there won't be anyone waiting in line for the maze by the closed roller coaster. Oh, we won't mention the name of. No, I'm kidding, of course, but. Yeah, there's a maze over here, sort of between El Toro and King Ka. And then there's another maze in the back over here. It's sort of underneath the log flume. Now this guy up here, it looks like he wants me to go do the log flume one first. However, I think we're gonna go do this one now. Can't imagine there's too many people over here. Anyway, the roller coaster's closed after all. <laughs> Just kidding. When did that when did that ever work? Also, <laughs> this shop's ridiculous. I call this the walkway shop. Like, they, they couldn't have come up with anything better than that. Serious, seriously? <laughs> of course, there's a line. <laughs> Whatever, we're we'll waiting this one. Let's just do it. The line got considerably longer since I joined, too. Go, go, go! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> I 
Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. Man. I love, I love I don't mind being the first one. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no. There are lots of ghouls and goblins back here. Yes, indeed. They, we don't know. We just don't know where they are. That's the best part. Ah! <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. Oh, you guys, come on. Hey, oh! Ah, no, that was real one. Oh, God. Got you got me there. Yeah, got tender the meat a little bit. Oh, jeez. Uh, you can take one of them. They're foreigners. They they don't mind. <laughs> oh, hello there. Is this your deli? This is my meat market. This is your meat market? Oh no. <laughs> A head sandwich. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> uh, you guys want to go ahead? Yeah. Why? Are you scared? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's a nice knife. Get it, get it! Oh, God. Get it, get it! Oh, God. Uh oh! Oh, my God, so oh my God. Jesus, God. <laughs> that's a huge dog crate. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> oh yeah, the the rest of their friends are back there somewhere. I'm their new friend. Ah. Hello. What do you got? Oh boy, there's some other customers. Yeah, what are you selling? Oh jeez. Oh, there's an arm hanging from the ceiling. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh. Welcome. No, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, Oh, jeez. That's pretty good. We just got out of uh, Bloodshed. Yeah, that one was pretty good. It's not the most memorable maze of all time. They didn't change any of the scenes in there from what I can remember from last year. So not the not the greatest ever, but it was it was still pretty decent. I give Bloodshed maybe like a three out of five. It wasn't too good. We'll go through that one again, I think. One annoying part about the Bloodshed maze and the other maze that used to be back there, there used to be a maze called Cell Block Six, way over back by King Ka. However, that one's been closed now for a couple of seasons. I, I don't think it was here last year either. But that one back there and uh, the bloodshed one that we just did, they dump you out sort of over here by, by Twister into the boardwalk area, which is annoying if you want to go and do any of the other mazes. It's just a sort of backtrack. I don't think I mentioned this at all yet, but there's an empanada guy location over here now. And this looks like churros as well. And I believe it's included on the all-season dining pass. We have that. We're going to head back and do the, uh, the corn maze, I think is what, I don't know what the hell it's called. It's got a new name. It's the one that's over by the log flume. We're going to do that one. <laughs> it's a cute hay bale maze for the kids. Uh, for me, it wouldn't really make <laughs> much sense since I could see over the tops of it. And in uh, Bugs Bunny National Park, they have a little thing called Boo Fest, which is meant for the younger kids. It's not scary or anything, and it's open during the day. I believe there's some type of trigger treating involved in some of the uh, sections. I'm not sure if it's this or not. Don't know a ton of Don't have a brochure here, but we're entering into Exile Canyon now. Death Valley, California. Oh, hello. Wow. Oh, my. <laughs> that was pretty scary indeed. Whoa. <laughs> I've got a pickaxe. So is there a maze back here somewhere? What's that? It's not over here. Over here by the log flume entrance is where there used to be a maze. It's not here anymore.
It's a mine train coaster. Is there a maze back here? I swear on the map, I saw a maze back in the corner of the park somewhere. We're back over here. Uh, we have hopped aboard a rickety, scary skyway bucket in search of the missing terror trail that's clearly marked on the map but doesn't exist in real life. It's totally possible that this is what I was uh, thinking about. This section here is a cemetery. It's very scary. as we traverse our way across the park. Don't know if we're gonna get into any more mazes tonight. We could check on the line for Aftermath, but there really isn't anything uh, else for us to do on this side of the park. I think, I think there's two more mazes or three more. There's a couple over there in the uh, old 40 theater that we have in the uh, building right there in the center of the shot. So there's still plenty for us to do. This park doesn't have the hugest selection of mazes. Down here is a scare zone. I don't know the name of it off the top of my head. But I hear some Scary, spooky stuff going on down there. <laughs> the Joker's pretty spooky though, but that's not what I'm hearing. I can hear from uh, over here the Blood Drums is doing a show. As we pull into the Dream Street Skyway Station. Oh, yeah. In the right. Right here, you can see the special harness uh, for the Sky Coaster attachment to it. God, I feel like all the attractions we're talking about tonight start with the Sky. We're talking about the Skyway, the Sky Screamer, the Sky Coaster. You got uh, so many things with the Sky on it. We're going to have to come back and do the uh, other mazes here on a different night. It's crazy, there's nobody riding the rides and stuff, but there's still a ton of people around. <laughs> but, Leaving all the scary stuff in the dust right here. But well, we saved a few mazes for us to do next time. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Ah, he's good.